All right, welcome back. It is time for some scientific fun with the Imagination Station. Sarah Neff is here with another interesting experiment. St. Patrick's Day elephant toothpaste. What the heck is the deal with this? All right, so elephant toothpaste is really fun. It's a good experiment to do at home um, because all of the ingredients are things that you probably already have around your house. And if you don't, they're very easy to come by and very cost effective. All right, so first right. step in making this is? We are going to start out, we have a bottle here. And inside our bottle, we have some hydrogen peroxide. Now, this is the stuff that you probably have in your medicine cabinet. Yep, got a bottle of that at home. What you have at home is about 3%, okay? And you're going to find that at any grocery. Um, so we have some hydrogen peroxide there in our container. And hydrogen peroxide is H2O2. Okay. Okay, so it kind of sounds like water, which it is water with one extra oxygen atom attached to it. Mm -hmm. So to our hydrogen peroxide, I'm going to have you add some Dawn dish soap. Okay. So you can put in a nice big squirt of that. All right, now hydrogen peroxide is always breaking down and turning into water as that oxygen atom that's extra is escaping. Okay. okay? And we want to speed up that process because we're not seeing anything happen. So we put in some soap to hopefully help speed up that process, right? Okay. Or at least capture that oxygen atom or that oxygen gas as it's escaping. But are you seeing very many bubbles in no, there? No, not much going on right now. Right, so let's uh, make this a little fancier, okay. okay? And for St. Patrick's Day, we'll put some green food color in there, okay? All right, now our super active ingredient that's going to bring our um, experiment full circle here mm -hmm. is our catalyst. In this case, we're using yeast. Okay. This is the same stuff you find in the baking aisle, okay? Do you and just need me to add a little bit to this? Or? You're actually going to add that whole beaker. All right. All right. So we just mixed it up according to the directions on the package. All right. Okay. We didn't do anything crazy with it. So go ahead and put that in. So right. now, are you seeing some bubbles happening? Yes, I am. All right. So the yeast is reacting with the soap then and the peroxide. It's, yeah, it's speeding up our reaction. Okay. So it's allowing that extra oxygen to break away, and the soap is capturing it. So now we see all those really nice bubbles. All righty, very cool. All right, and this is always a good science fair experiment because yeah. you can use different concentrations of hydrogen peroxide. You can get 8%, 12%, different things if you look around for it. All right, okay. so next up then, we're going to uh, maximize this experiment. We are because, I mean, I can't just leave you with this. So if you want to set that tray over out of the way, I'll bring in these guys. Okay. So let's put these up. Now we have hydrogen peroxide in our beaker mm -hmm. again, but this time we're using 35%. So it's much, much yeah. stronger. So we do have on our gloves and we're going to go ahead and put goggles on for this part. All right. All right. Now again, we want to capture those bubbles. So go ahead and put some soap into your beaker. And I'm going to put a big food. old squirt again. Yeah, and I'm going to put some food color in mine. And you don't have to be shy with the soap. Okay. Maybe a little more. Yeah, that's perfect. All right. Now I'll trade you, and I'll do mine. All right. That looks perfect. All right. So now we are going to use a catalyst again, but now we're using something a little bit different. This is called potassium iodide. All right. Okay. Now what we're going to do is you can go ahead and unscrew the cap. Okay, and on the count of three, what we're going to do is dump it in one swift motion, and then we're going to take one big step back. Okay, that's the important part, right? Take a and step back. And I'm actually going to move these things out of your way. Okay. Okay. You right ready? where you are. Okay. One, two, three. Very nice. All right, so we have that same reaction happening, and if you notice. We've got tons and tons and tons of bubbles coming out of here. If you put your hand up here, what do you notice about our reaction? This is really hot. Very hot. So steam is actually a byproduct, and this is an exothermic reaction we've got happening. So we are making all kinds of crazy bubbles through this chemical reaction. All righty. Pretty well, cool. you guys are always doing fun and exciting science out at the Imagination Station. You're just down the street from us. What you guys have going on? Today is actually Pi Day, so we're having a memory challenge. If you can name the most digits of pi, you'll win a pi to the top three. And then on Sunday, we have St. Patrick's Day Science, so we've got green snow, green slime, green e-paste, all kinds of good stuff. All right, Sarah, thank you so much. Appreciate that. Happy Pi Day to you. Thank you. All right. A check of your certified most accurate forecast on this Pi Day is coming up when we return on WT11 Your Day.